You're watching Channel 4, home of News4Jax.com. The morning show in high definition starts now. 808. Well, in this new economy, a lot of people are being downsized, and some turn to what experts say you should do. Maybe open up your own small business. Your own boss. She used to be a fighter pilot. Now she's a business owner. And Nikki, you've got her story. She's talking about uh, Stacy her Ryan here. Yes, we are talking about Stacy Ryan. Uh, you know, she's she's no stranger to challenges. In fact, she's been deployed four times. She's a mother of two. We know how hard that can be. Uh, her husband is on deployment right now, so she's uh, taking care of the kids by herself. But she really decided that she needed a job. She wanted something that she could do and be home with the kids. So instead of going to work for somebody, she decided she decided to work for herself. Stacy Ryan is no stranger to a massage table. As a lieutenant commander in the Navy, she was deployed four times and was often the lone female. That's why this pilot sought comfort and relaxation through massage. It's how she says she relieves stress, even loneliness. Initially, it was um, an hour of downtime away from radios, communications, other um, sailors, soldiers asking questions. And I just wanted an hour where I didn't have to answer anybody. Back then, Stacy never dreamed that massage would become her career. But when her husband was deployed and this mom of two wanted to tuck her kids into bed instead of landing on foreign runways, she decided to start her own business. It's something she truly believes in, and it's really taking off. It's not pampering. It's not something that now is an extra, like getting your hair or nails done. This is an essential. Um, stress will kill you. Aches and pains will kill you. And I've just... You know, one thing led to another, and I kind of opened up the Massage Heights in River City. And Stacy just opened her second Massage Heights chain, this one next to Ulta at the St. John's Town Center. It's upscale but affordable, and according to the owner, recession resilient. The more stress people get about the economy, the money, the bills coming in, people carry that tension, and it has to go somewhere. You know, Stacy tells us that a lot of people think that, that she's kind of crazy and taking a big risk by opening a new business in this economy, but she really believes in what she's doing. In fact, she has poured every penny that the family has into these two locations. She says that she knows they will succeed, and certainly like her military training, there's just no room for failure. We're live at the Town Center. Nikki Preed, Channel 4, the local station. Thanks, Nick. Well, it looks relaxing. <laughs> I'm still kind of in that. I have my oh. head buried in one of those chairs right now. Yeah. Those massage glow. Yeah. <laughs> well, he says he's an Asian man with a southern accent. Comedian Henry Cho is in town for a show this weekend.